Getting content into FaceFX Studio starts with an FBX file. The FBX has bones and morph targets keyed at various times to make poses. A text file specifies the exact frame numbers and pose names. The raw blend shapes will also be available to drive in FaceFX. Our default character setup uses six poses for the mouth, three for the tongue, three for the eyes and eyebrows, and rotation poses for the head and eye bones. This is our sample character, Roger, who uses bones and morphs. His FBX file can be found in the sample source directory of a FaceFX install. Once the import is complete, you can see the bone poses and morph targets that were imported in the face graph. To create an animation from an audio file, just drag it onto the Preview tab. The phoneme bar shows you the phonemes detected in the audio file. If there was a text file with the same name as the audio file, you'll see words here, too. Moving a phoneme will cause the curves to update immediately. The curves created by phonemes are determined by the Mapping tab. Our default six mouth targets are listed here, along with the three tongue targets. Curves will feed into the face graph and drive the node that has the same name as the curve. Names are case sensitive. Because our character has morph nodes that correspond to the name of the curves in the animation, we can see the animation on the character. That's all it takes to get your character talking in FaceFX Studio. If anything goes wrong, keep an eye on the Logs tab to read any warnings. You can see the FaceFX commands that were executed here. Most operations in FaceFX will generate and execute a command. You can enter new commands from the command bar at the bottom of the application, or from the Python tab using the issue command function. This allows you to script batch operations using Python and FaceFX commands.